y'all this is your girl queen danny back with another video so today we're going to be making cheesecake so i'm going to show you how i do it this is one of my favorite cheesecakes of all time with um cherry and pineapple topping on top so let's get started i'm going to show you everything you need so you can make it do some graham cracker crumbs and some butter so I'm gonna make a large oops, a large cheesecake so I like my thick and I like my crust to go up on the side so we're gonna take the graham cracker crumbles the crumbs and we're gonna take two cups of it you're gonna need some melted butter. So I'm gonna take this. Make sure you can see everything. Spoons of sugar to the graham crackers. butter pour it right in and we're gonna mix it until all the crumbs are nice and combined gonna preheat your oven to 300 because we're gonna bake this first for 10 minutes Table, five tablespoons. I'm gonna melt two more tablespoons and add it. So we got the two more tablespoons of butter. We're gonna mix it. Cause you want to be able to have it where it bind together. So when you put it in the pan to bake it, it will stay.
heat up. So that's good. So you're gonna bring back your, your pan. Spring form. I put this on there. You don't have to if you don't have it, but if you have the parchment paper for the bottom, you can add it. So we're gonna pour this in. We're gonna mold it to the bottom. Try to get it even. So we're going to bake this for 10 minutes. We're going to take it out. And while we're letting this bake, we're going to make the filling. Four blocks of cream cheese. We're going to add this. Everything is at room temperature. You're gonna need two cans of sweetened condensed milk. You're gonna turn this on medium and let it roll until it gets smooth. And we're gonna add four eggs and lemon juice. So you wanna make sure you get all the lumps of the cream cheese out before adding the eggs because sometimes it takes a, a minute or it takes a while once you add the eggs to get the lumps of the cream cheese combined so all the lumps are gone and we're going to start adding the eggs so we got four eggs we're going to add them one by one This is such a simple and thick, if you like thick cream, I mean cheesecake, this is gonna be perfect. this cheesecake together you don't have to add no flour or nothing but lemon juice slow and steady so we got that in there I'm also going to add one tablespoon of lemon extract we got that in there. And one tablespoon of pure vanilla.
Let that roll and we good to go. It smells so good. And this is it. When I tell you this is gonna be one of the best cheesecakes you ever had. My grandmother actually um, told me this recipe when I was a kid. Instead of getting a cake for my birthday, she would make me cheesecake. And this was one of my favorites. So for me, I like lemon. So I'm going to add a little more lemon juice and some more of this lemon extract. It almost looked like cake mix. So for Christmas, I normally make cheesecake for Christmas. Thanksgiving and Christmas. And when I tell you, my family, they love it. They love it. And I normally make it in the the um, throwaway silver uh, trays. But today I said I'm going to do it fancy and put it in a spring form pan. So... That's all mixed. We're gonna try the batter. Always try the batter to make sure you like it. Mmm. That is good. So the crust is out the oven. So we're gonna add our filling. So this is gonna be a thick. gonna bake this at 45 minutes to an hour on um, the oven is at 300 but I'm gonna turn it down to like 275 because I don't want it to cook too fast so we'll be back with the finished product once it come out the oven so I let it cook for 50 minutes in the oven and then I let I turned the oven off and crack the door so it can cool down for 10 or 15 minutes and I see it did crack but yeah a cheesecake I'm gonna let it completely cool and the next time you see it we'll have some toppings on it crushed pineapples and some extra cherry pot filling so this is my absolute favorite combination i would have left it plain but i want to show y'all how i do it so we're going to take a half this can or you could get a small one but i'm gonna drain the juice so i've drained the juice so i'm gonna Add half this can, about half. We're gonna layer it. This is my, like I said, favorite. You don't want as much juice on there. So we're gonna layer with the pineapple. Make sure it's even. that we 
got the cherry. You can make your pie filling or you can buy the can. Either way, it works. We're going to add this on top. just like that there you have it pineapple and cherry cheesecake so that that's it so tomorrow because i'm gonna let this go overnight in the fridge i'm gonna take some pictures and show you